EJ, it takes about two seconds to do any type of research on you and your career and your life to see some of these speeches now that you travel the country giving about your son, Michael, and how much he meant to you and your family, and now how you're leaving his legacy uh, even though he's gone. Can you tell us just about the impact that Michael had on your life and how you're seeing now his impact on other people's lives? Yeah, it's been pretty... uh it's been pretty remarkable and it's something that, uh, you know, I've been married for 40 years to Cheryl Ann and, and, uh, you know, we adopted Michael from a, an orphanage in Romania when he was almost three years old. And, um, and one thing Cheryl and I have always agreed on is that he will impact more folks, uh, through his life than, than we ever will, because he was a special needs kid, um, who, uh, who basically was, uh, you know, unable to walk, talk, do anything when we adopted him. And then he, he started speaking when he was eight um, and then wouldn't stop. And, and even though his communication wasn't great, he was, he had some, uh, some autistic traits to him. He had like a rain man mentality, a, a memory of, of cars and that kind of thing. Um, and so, uh, if you tell him what you drive, that's how he would remember you. You know, and I'd run into teachers of his 10 years after he had been in their class and, and he would see this person coming, you know, like down the, at the mall and he'd say, Michael, do you remember me? And he'd say Chevrolet Astro van blue interior, you know, and, and like it, it would blow them away. And so, uh, I mean, he, his spirit was was such it was so innocent and so um, just so wholesome. Folks were just attracted to him. And so, look, when he's in high school and, and, a, and, a, and a, there's a there's a high school coach who puts him on the basketball team because he said, I just want Michael to teach my players maximum effort because I know he's in a wheelchair and takes all the strength he has to get around and having a heart for others because Michael's favorite thing to say was love you too. And, and so this, this uh, coach, Phil Bolier, when he's teaching his classes, he would like hesitate or, or take a little break from teaching and say, Hey, look, I'm going to tell you about this kid, Michael Johnson. Um, and he would talk about this love you too, that, that Michael always used to say. And so he started teaching his students how to say, I love you in sign language. And so like, you know, he puts Michael on the basketball team and on senior night after three years of doing this, you know, they go out and and the folks are cheering for all the seniors. And then when, when Michael's introduced, I look up in the student section and they're all standing like this. And so it's like, um, you know, to me it was, you know, I'm not trying to turn this into Sunrise Sermonette, but like only God takes a basketball coach from Indiana, transplants him in Brazelton, Georgia, and takes a orphan from Romania and put and they put these guys in the gym and they teach the school about love you know and and so that has really been since we lost Michael about 15 16 months ago at the age of 33 and he he lived so much longer than than a lot of folks with muscular dystrophy do in the last 10 years of his life on a ventilator um, we've just shared his message and and tried to tell folks that there's value in everybody and that it may not be visible right from the outset. You may look at somebody and say, well, uh, I don't know where the value is, but there is. And so that's kind of like been the crux of the message that I, that I deliver. And, 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 and that's one of the things I love most is just going to speak to groups and, and speaking to businesses and, and saying that, um, you know, there's more to life than the next conference call you've got and the next meeting that you've got and, 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 and that kind of thing. So that kind of in a nutshell uh, is is why much of what I do when I speak and you know, give these 45 minute, you know, presentations about life itself and not sports casting uh, is that the messages and, and the lessons that Michael has taught us through through 33 unbelievable years. Right. So this is I love you. And this. Yeah. yeah I love, love you, too. too. So, yeah, yeah. So here's the I love you you yeah and you tip the index finger at the other person it means love you too so uh yeah we're, we're just we're just spreading that wherever we can it's amazing for all the grand gestures people make or the large donate all these other things how sometimes it's the smallest and the simplest things that 
grow and make those kind of impacts. That's a, it's a marvelous, marvelous story. Uh, and I remember um, the night we did your story on sports center uh, with this. And um, a lot of times we tape those, you know, tape the lead in so we can do other things. Uh, that was one that I went back in, into my office and said, okay, I'm going to wait till the show, till this actually comes on to see it. And it's, it's an amazing story. You can find it everywhere. And I hope people look that up and, and see that and kind of, uh, even through the interwebs, try to push the message out even more. So, I appreciate okay. that. Thank you, guys. Thank you much for that. 